Soft curves, heirloom varieties, and unorganized flower beds are the hallmarks of a cottage garden. Annuals and flowering bulbs create low-lying swaths of color in this informal garden style, while perennials offer unplanned accents in the background. In order to complete your cottage garden, you must have these 15 low-care plants. Number one, bellflower. Sturdy, easy to grow stems bear white or blue blossoms on this perennial. Bellflower, or Campanula persisifolia, is a wonderful cut flower that, like many other plants native to cottage gardens, blooms from the end of spring into the beginning of summer. Bellflowers thrive in well-drained soil and may tolerate partial shade to full sun. Number two, big leaf hydrangea. Big leaf hydrangeas, or hydrangea macrophylla, are bushes that bloom in early summer and come in a wide variety of interesting colors and patterns. If you can bring yourself to remove those massive blossoms from your garden, they would be perfect for a vase of cut flowers. Thayer prefers a medium to wet, well-drained soil and partial shade to full shade. Number three, columbine. Foliage of the easy to grow perennial columbine appears in the spring and early summer, and the plant has a delicate appearance. They are a great low maintenance option for a cottage garden because hummingbirds and gardeners both adore their vibrant blossoms. They thrive in soil that drains well, full sun to partial shade. Number four, coral bells. With foliage ranging from chart use to purple as scarlet to bronze to green to silver, these low-growing perennials are a sight to behold. Coral bells, which are actually a genus of heuchera plants, attract pollinators with their spectacular displays of pink, red, or white blossoms in the spring and early summer. Number five, daisy. Any cottage garden design can benefit from the daisy's timeless beauty and long-lasting summer blossoms. Its radiant yellow centers and sparkling white petals make it an ideal choice for border plantings and cutting gardens. Number six, delphinium. The delphinium is a magnificent plant for a cottage garden because of the grand spires it produces in many colors of pink, white, blue, and purple. The additional effort of anchoring these higher perennials to keep them safe from wind is money well spent. Cold temperatures are ideal for delphinium cultivation because hot summers are difficult for these plants. Number seven, Dianthus. Beautiful Dianthus flowers in a range of pink, red, and white hues fill spring gardens with a delightful aroma. As their blooming fades, deadhead the wasted flowers to encourage a second bloom. Number eight, Hollyhock. The low maintenance Hollyhock plant which can reach a height of eight feet, is known for its enormous, colorful flowers and is a beautiful addition to any cottage garden. From almost black to red, purple, yellow, and white, their blossoms cover a vast spectrum of colors. Number nine, iris. With their fragrant blossoms and a wide range of sizes and colors, irises are a sight to behold. 
because they aren't attractive to rabbits and have lovely pastel flowers. They are a popular choice for cottage gardens. Number 10, Ladies Mantle. This traditional, low-growing perennial is known for its fuzzy green foliage and flurry of chartreuse blossoms in the spring. When the dewdrops land on that fuzz in the morning, Ladies Mantle looks a bit splattered. If you're looking for a beautiful plant to cultivate as a border plant or path edger, consider Ladies Mantle. Number 11, Lavender, is an ornamental and practical plant that attracts pollinators with its aromatic foliage and beautiful flowers. The most common color palette for the flowers is white with violet undertones. When dried, they look beautiful in sachets and other handmade items. Number 12, Peony. In addition to being aesthetically pleasing and fragrant, they are almost entirely pest-free. Plus, peonies aren't fussy about growing in non-garden settings. With the right care, cut peonies in a vase can last for three weeks, and their colors will remain vibrant even after drying. Number 13, Perennial Geranium. Both dwarf and giant perennial geraniums work wonderfully as accent plants in cottage gardens. In particular, the Johnson's Blue variety stands out with its stunning early summer blossoms, which are a mix of blue and purple. In the fall, these plants also display colorful foliage. Number 14, Phlox. Garden Phlox, scientifically known as Phlox paniculata, is a vigorous plant that stands out in late summer gardens with its striking clusters of red, white, pink, and lavender flowers. Horticulturalists like butterflies and hummingbirds are drawn to the aromatic blossoms. Number 15, pansies. Some of the most delightful flowers for cottage gardens are violas and pansies, which have fragrant and tasty blossoms. These hardy plants will brighten your spring garden and in many cases, bring forth new blooms in the fall. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.